many do a double take when they first see Bill Parrish's gray-hued pony? That's because they're expecting the tractor to be painted red and yellow. This is actually a Ferguson pony, which is the same tractor as the Massey Harris Pony 11, just with a different paint scheme. You see, after Massey Harris and Ferguson merged, several models were distributed under the brand of both companies, including the pony. There was just one problem. Ferguson dealers didn't like this tractor. It was built by Massey Harris and distributed to the Ferguson dealers to, because they wanted a new tractor and most of them turned it down, or way over half of them, that's most, um, because they said it was a warmed over Massey Harris tractor, not a new one for them. And so way over half of them were sent back to the factory and repainted in Massey Harris colors, red and yellow, and sent back out and sold as Massey Harris tractors, which they really were underneath anyway. Bill bought this one at an auction, even though it was painted the wrong color. He realized just how good a deal it was once he stripped off the paint. It had a really poor red paint job with off-color yellow wheels. Um, I think they had been painted again since the factory painted it. But when we took it apart, we verified it had been originally gray because there was no red in the cracks of the uh, castings. It was all gray. There are quite a few of them around. Uh, there aren't that many gray ponies. I know of 10 or 15 others, but out of uh, 400 and some that actually went out, 430 or 40, there's not that many of them around. And a lot of them got painted red and yellow and people don't even know that they were a gray pony. It was 1958 before the company entered its two-line policy. But until then, they continued to market separate Massey, Harris, and Ferguson machines. The Pony is one of several horse-themed tractors built during this period. Massey collectors all call them the, the horse tractors, but they built a Pony, which was the smallest tractor. Then they built a Pacer, which was slightly larger. And then they built the Colt and the Mustang. The Pony is powered by a Continental engine that's rated at 1,800 RPMs and produces 10 horsepower at the drawbar and 11 at the belt. It is a, a Continental N62. It's the same configuration interior motor as is in a Farmall Cub, a little G Alice, uh, and of course in the ponies. And it was used in several other small stationary power units, but it is a Continental flathead four cylinder. I believe most people bought them for small acreage. Uh, truck far We know some truck farmers bought them because they, would, they only would pull a one bottom plow, but they were good in small places. You could utilize, utilize them to plow, disc, cultivate, and plant. It's easy to drive. It only has a little three-speed transmission in it, and it doesn't need power steering. It's, it's easy to steer, so it doesn't wear you out to work with it. Although the Pony wasn't a big puller, the company still offered a wide range of one-row implements, like the disc that Bill has mounted behind his tractor. It actually came as a Ferguson disc. Uh, I bought it with another Pony uh, a deal I got at an auction. I don't know if it was a deal or not, but I bought it anyway. But I decided to re refurb the disc. It had been setting in the bottom of the disc. They let them set in dirt. You know what happens to the bottom, they rust. So it had almost full disc, but except for a flat spot, I rusted off. So I replaced the discs on it and repainted it and because uh, I wanted it to look decent on the tractor and take the show. The majority of Bill's collection is made up of low production tractors or one of a kinds. He has around two dozen total and plans to keep adding rare Massey models if the right one comes along. I don't think any collector is ever truly done, but I'm probably about to the place I'm going to. Uh, I'm running out of barn space for one thing, and uh, uh, I don't want to run out of wife, and she thinks I've got probably plenty of tractors now. And more than likely, she's right. You know, we hate to admit it, but they're usually right. Uh, I can't tell you I wouldn't buy a low production or a, an oddball Massey that would come along because I would. It's all an addiction. It's like any other, any other hobby or collection. You, you have to, I believe, be addicted to it to really pursue it. And uh, I'll admit that I am. Hey, thanks for catching Classic Tractor Fever. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel right here on YouTube. You can also find even more videos and branded merchandise on our website, ClassicTractorsTV.com.